Hello everyone, in this video I will show you that how you can predict the tertiary structure of protein. So for this we can use a very useful tool that is TR Rosetta. It is one of the most cited tool which is used for predicting tertiary structure of protein. So how you will use this TR Rosetta tool and how you will analyze the results given by this tool will be covered in this video. So in order to open TR Rosetta just open your browser and search for the software that is TR Rosetta. Now this is the first one the main website just click here as you click here now this is the home page of this TR Rosetta here this is the introduction about this TR Rosetta how it works the algorithm as you scroll down here in this submit column you have to submit your sequence like for example I have already downloaded a sequence so just copy that sequence you can use your protein sequence and paste here so this is the sequence of protein of which tertiary structure I want to know you can also choose the file if you don't want to copy and paste just choose that file input type so we are using just single sequence that's why single but you can use more than one sequence so that is multiple sequence alignment click here in case of more than one alignment but this time only single sequence is this so I'm choosing this single sequence email email is optional but I recommend you to give your email here because it take times for generating the result it may take either one to two or more than that so you have only one option that either you have to wait on this page or just give your email and this tool will send you a link of the result when they will be generated so it is you can say it is a good decision to paste your email here next target name you can write the name of your protein here or whatever name you want to give this protein you can type here and just giving the like for example I am giving the name demo TR Rosetta and just click this submit button as you click submit button now the processing has been started your job has been submitted successfully means the sequence given by you is just submitted and under process this is a job id generated by this system and this is the link on which you can check your results so if you click here now after clicking this link it will show you that either your results are ready or not so now it is saying that it will take about five hours to complete that job so that's why i just told you that it's a wise decision to give email in the email id option so now after five hours when the result will be generated so link will be given to your email id so i have already downloaded the results of this particular sequence so these are the results which i received so how to read or interpret these results so in order to interpret these results so first of all this is the tertiary structure this diagram you can move it in any direction so this is the tertiary structure of the protein generated by the sequence given by you now how to analyze the further result here it is showing that estimated TM score is 0.854 so this TM score it is a score given for you can say given for the aligned sequences and the range of this TM score is 0 to 1 when the score is more closer to 1 so you can say that the structure is best predicted structure so as the score is closer to 1 so we can say that this structure is the best predicted structure you can download this structure by click here download model 1 so this is the one model similarly the software has generated more than one model like here model 2 model 3 model 4 and model 5 so just click here and the the next model will be uploaded here so you can use this model for your research purpose now if you scroll down here these are the predicted inter residue distances and orientations so this is a graphical representation you can say graphical representation in this first graph it is of that is contact 
सो वट इज कॉन्टैक्ट मीन्स द कॉन्टैक्ट इज द इट शोइंग द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ रेजिड्यूज पेयर बींग इन कॉन्टैक्ट सो द यू कैन से द रेजिड्यूज द प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ रेजिड्यूज पेयर विच आर इन कॉन्टैक्ट इज शोन बाय दिस ग्राफ यू कैन क्लिक इट विल बी एंड लास्ट सेकेंड इज ऑफ डिस्टेंस हेयर इन दिस ग्राफ इट इज शोइंग यू कैन से इट इज शोइंग द डिस्टेंस ऑफ एंगल्स बाय टेकिंग द रेफरेंस ऑफ सी अल्फा ऑफ ग्लाइसिन एज वी नो द सी अल्फा ऑफ ग्लाइसिन इज लेस देन एट ऑन स्ट्रॉन्ग सो बाई यूजिंग दैट रेफरेंस इट इज गिविंग द डिस्टेंस ग्राफ एंड दीज आर अदर एंगल लाइक ओमेगा एंगल थीटा एंगल एंड फाइव एंगल एज यू नो द रेंज ऑफ दिस ओमेगा एंगल इज माइनस वन एट्टी टू प्लस वन एट्टी द रेंज ऑफ दिस थीटा इज ऑल्सो माइनस वन एट्टी टू प्लस वन एट्टी एंड वाइल द रेंज ऑफ दिस फाइव एंगल इज जीरो टू वन एट्टी सो दीज आर द ग्राफ विच आर बेस्ड ऑन दिस एंगल्स डिस्टेंस एंड कॉन्टैक्ट नाउ इन दिस टेबल दीज आर द टेम्पलेट विद विच योर प्रोटीन सिक्वेंस हैज बीन मैच और यू कैन से अलाइंड एंड आफ्टर विच योर स्ट्रक्चर हैज बीन प्रिडिक्टेड सो दीज आर फाइव टेम्पलेट दिस इज द कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल विच गिव दैट हाउ मच Your protein or your the structure predicted or alignment predicted by the software is of confidence level. So the score is hundred means it is confidence. Then coverage. What is this coverage? This coverage is the you can say it is calculated by the number of known gapped alignment divided by query sequence. So after this the coverage is calculated and this is the coverage value. The next is identity. So identity is just you can say it is analyzed by the number of aligned identical residues divided by the query sequence means the number of identical aligned residue they are divided by the query sequence then the score comes that is the identity next e value so it is the you can say this is the significance of alignment calculated on the base of stat and e value it if it is more closer to zero or minus than it is the best one this is the z score this is g score it normally if it is 10 or more than 10 then we can say the alignment is good so here you can see the alignment this g score is more than 10 here in this download button so if you click here you will download the old data related to this template one similarly for the second one you can click on the second option now if you just drag this bar here now you will see this is the secondary structure of your protein this is your query sequence this one this one is the query sequence and here this c if you see if i'm zooming it for you now you can clearly see here this is a query sequence which you just gave to the software and this is the secondary structure predicted from this primary sequence here the c stand for coil these s they stand for strands or beta strands and this d stand for the disorder and if you see here this h it stand for the helix and these dots they represent the order so these are the legends you can read them here now so this is a secondary structure as you can see coils beta strands helix this is the disorder so this is a secondary structure predicted from your sequence this is the alignment this one is your query and these are the these are the template with which your sequence has shown the alignment so these are the alignment results now this section is reference section means where the reference were used like one is of this nature protocols the advanced size so these are the reference section so here as we are more concerned with the 3d structure so you can see this one is the 3d structure you can zoom in or zoom out and just rotate it in any angle you can use this structure for your research so so in this way you can use this tr rosetta tool for predicting the 3d structure of a you can say of a protein of a protein or the sequence which you give to the software so it's a very important tool whenever you want to predict the tertiary structure of any protein so you can use this tr rosetta so that's all for this tr rosetta guys see you in the next video thank you very much